guys, it's Kia here and welcome to Chronicles of Kia. Today what we're going to be talking about is a Sephora haul. So I just wanted to bring to you a couple of items that I picked up that I'm very excited to try out. And I just wanted to bring a quick video to you guys just so that you guys can be looking out for videos or reviews on the couple of items that I got from Sephora. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the Sephora bag. So I purchased, my first purchase because of course my channel is about foundation, is I purchased the new It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation um, foundation. I got the color 510 Deep Sand Warm. Um, it will run you $32 and you get about one fluid ounce in it. And I'll just show you what the color looks like. So this is what the bottle looks like right here. I'll go into a depth review about it, but I'll just go ahead and pump a little small bit so you guys can see. Sorry. So this is the shade right here that I got. And yes, it's a little bit darker. However, I like I stated before, I like my foundations to be darker than my skin tone so that when I highlight and contour, it gives me a balance towards my neck versus going in with my exact shade. I feel like when I go in with my exact shade and then I highlight and contour and get my face together, I always look a little ghostly or I look a little ashy. I don't know. It just doesn't come off as clean as when I go in with a deeper shade, just the one shade deeper. Usually it's like one shade or a half a shade deeper with a foundation and then go in with everything. So. That was my first purchase. Next, I got what everybody was dying to get. Like, I picked up the last one in the store, and I was so freaking pressed. Like, so freaking pressed. I got the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera Palette. When I say I was pressed to get this, like, everybody was like, young, Kia. It's not that serious. I'm trying to pull it up on um, the app. Everyone thought I was crazy, but I don't care. Me no care. I don't. Like, I was pressed for it and I was going to get it. So in this palette, this palette will run you $45. You get 14 shades. I'm sorry. You get 14 shades for $45 in this palette. And I'll go ahead and open it up so that you guys can see it. And this is what the palette looks like. I've already played in a little bit. But I just want to show you guys. Here you go. I don't want the uh, the makeup brush. So this is what the palette looks like. Yes, I know it's a little bright for your girl. But I'm excited to play in this. I did do today's look. Which is this look right here. I did do today's look with this palette. So I definitely check out for that video. To see my final thoughts on. Not my final. My initial thoughts on this palette. And then I'll play with it for a while. And maybe I'll come back and do my final thoughts but so far I was really excited to pick up this palette along with that palette um, she also released um, a setting spray and I also picked up the setting spray your girl loves a setting spray like I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills dewy set setting spray and this will run you $26 so I'll go ahead and open it it has a vanilla to it which I loved like a coconut vanilla scent and you get about 3.4 fluid ounce I'm sorry and I'll go ahead and I love the way it sprays it smells so good oh my god it smells so good it smells so good I love a coconut spray there's nothing nobody can tell me hold on I'm trying to put it back in the box I hate when you can't get stuff back in the box but yes, so I picked this up. I love it. I definitely will have both of the Riviera Air Palette and the Glow Set in a video coming up soon. Next, what I got was um, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist, which comes in a package like this. I'll go ahead and open it. I will be doing a video on this. I have her, her, her watermelon mask and her watermelon moisturizer. So I definitely want to do a skincare video on this. And this is what it looks like. Isn't this so pretty? Oh my God. And you just shake it up. I'm just going to spray it because I just put the other spray on. Um, 
So let's see. Let's go ahead and open it. Shake it up so it's all missing. This is so cute. Oh my God. I can't wait to use this in the summertime. It smells just like watermelon. Oh my God. It's a watermelon glow, ultra fine glow mist. And you get 2.5 fluid ounces. And this spray will run you $28. I love the um, moisturizer and the mask, so I was excited for this to come out. So I'm definitely gonna do a review on that, so that video will be out soon too. Now the last thing I picked up, I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. I did get the miniature size of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I got this because lately um, my, found, my face has been very dry. And because I'm so used to my skin being very oily, I normally go in with mattifying primers. But I wanted to try a different primer out because it has been severely dry. Like, I've been having dry patches. And I've just been pounding on the moisturizer. So I definitely wanted to give this a try. So I went ahead and got the miniature size. This will run you $15. And if I like this, I will go back and pick up the bigger size. But I didn't want to pick up the bigger size knowing that I normally don't have dry skin. Now, I don't know if this is going to be my skin from here on out. But as you know, as I'm getting older. But for right now, I just got the miniature size to give it a try. Um, let's go ahead and put this. I'm going to put a dot and rub this in on my hand. It doesn't really have a smell. I thought it would have a cu cucumber smell because it looks like it would have a cucumber smell. But you also, oh, that feels good. I feel like I put too much. So it doesn't have a smell, but I love the way if you guys can see it, it also gives you a nice hydrating feel to the skin. So I definitely will be going in with this with my other hydrating um, moisturizers that I picked up. And giving this a try under my foundation. I still like a full foundation. I still like a semi-matte to a matte foundation. But going in with a... Oh, and I like that it gives you a tacky feel. So it gives you a tacky feel for the foundation to stick to. That is the best part I love about primers. Is when they set down to give you a tacky feel. So that I feel like once I'm pouncing my foundation on. That it sticks. It doesn't glide around the skin. So I'm excited to give this a try. And then after it dries, it dries down. So it only stays tacky for a little bit, but then it dries down. And it still gives you a little sheen. And it feels like it locks in that moisture. So yes, that is what I got. That is all I got. So yes, that is my recent haul to Sephora. My mid-monthly haul to Sephora. I'm probably going to try not to go back to Sephora. There are a couple of things that are coming out this month that I definitely want to pick up. But I just wanted to bring this to you. I wanted to bring it to you before I start pumping out all the videos on the products that I got. So I hope you guys enjoy my hauls. I will do a monthly haul of other things that I got from like the drugstore and things like that. I'll try to squeeze those in. Um, but I was really excited about this haul. This has been like my first like Sephora haul in a while. I have not been to Sephora in a long time. So I was excited to get all these products and I was really excited for the palette which really let me to Sephora, the palette, and then the foundation. There's another foundation that I want to try that's coming out. But I wanted to get those two out so that I can do them for a foundation Friday. Um, I do have on the It Cosmetics foundation today. And so far, so good. I can't wait to give you guys my foundation review on Friday of this foundation so that you guys can see my thoughts. And then if you tried it out, tell me what you think. See if we have the similar thoughts. But anyway, enough of rambling. We'll get into those videos when we get into them. I hope you like my mid-monthly haul. If you did, go ahead and give your girls a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Come back for another video. I hope that you are enjoying my content. And if you aren't, I hope that you enjoy something about my content. And if you don't, leave a comment and let me know what you want to see. And maybe we can add that to the list. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.